Today, lasers power everything. Surgery, barcodes, fiber internet, even sci-fi movies. But the very first real laser? It was born in 1960, and scientists weren't even sure what to do with it. Physicist Theodore Maiman at Hughes Research Laboratories built the world's first working laser using a pink synthetic ruby crystal. On May 16, 1960, he fired a flash lamp at the ruby rod, forcing atoms inside to release energy as a narrow beam of intense red light. Unlike ordinary light, laser light is perfectly focused, all waves moving in sync. At first, people mocked it. Some scientists called it a solution looking for a problem. But within years, lasers found their purpose. In medicine, lasers could cut with precision without touching tissue. In telecommunications, they carried signals across optical fibers. In everyday life, they scanned barcodes at supermarkets and powered CD players. Maiman's laser was about the size of a handheld flashlight, nothing like the giant room-filling machines of early computing. And yet, it opened an entire new field of science and technology. Today, lasers guide spacecraft, power industrial cutting, and even explore quantum computing, all from one ruby crystal in a California lab. So, next time you see a laser pointer, remember, it started as a crazy idea in 1960, dismissed by many, but destined to change the world. Would you have guessed the ray gun of sci-fi was actually born in a tiny lab? Comment light beam below and follow for more firsts in science.